Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV and for those of you that have subscribed, welcome back. If you would like to see the latest and greatest of the new models that have come out in all the lightweight small trailers we work with here, be sure to subscribe and we always appreciate your comments. So let's get started. We're going to take a look at the new 189 floor plan. It's a, a new lineup with our pod that came out in 2017. Uh, you notice it looks a lot like the our pods that you've seen before. You've got a nice handle walking in. You've got the screen door that opens up. I love the clear cover here, but you slide it back to separate the screen door from the regular door. And a new addition that they did in their 2018s is gonna be the pull-out aluminum step. They're uh, very lightweight, very easy to work with. We'll show you how that works when we go around the outside, but let's get in the door and take a look at the inside. Come on in. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you walk in this 189 model is going to be this lovely leatherette sofa on the back. It's soft, it's comfy, all kinds of luxury right across the back of the camper. It really opens up the rear space. Um, the first question we always get is, does it make a bed? Well, I'm going to show you. It is a jackknife. So it comes up, lays down flat. Now, you know, this probably isn't the flattest surface to lay down on. so. Uh, you need to make note of that, but a little bit of a, of a cushion on this side and it'd be very comfy for people to sleep on. But just flip it right back up, pull on the back, and it goes right down to the sofa again. So it's really easy to convert to a sleeping area. The next thing you might notice if you're familiar with our pods is that there are no curtains across the back. This is going to be a pull down shade. You got these nice clean valances. Drop that down and you've got your blackout shade. So that's going to be on every window here in this R pod, except for the one in the kitchen. And that's because it's a fire code. It's going to have a standard mini blind. So this just slides right back up, gets out of the way, and you can see windows on all three sides. I love that in this trailer. Let's see if we can come around and get a shot of the television because the entertainment center is to the right of the door when you come in. And right up here, this is gonna be uh, the King Jack, which is your TV antenna. Uh, we can show you how this works in your walkthrough, but um, you push this button and then you rotate the antenna to get the best reception on your television. This is gonna be the outside porch light here and this controls your slide out room, which is electric. The kitchen is on a slide. So you just push the button, the slide goes out. Over here, this is the new Furion uh, stereo. I love the slim feature. It's a flat screen. Um, when you push this button right here, your stereo piece comes on. But notice that under here, you've got a USB, you've got a HDMI, and you know, very useful for gaming or plugging in a DVD player or anything else you'd like to add. You have a headphone jack on that side. Up here, it's gonna be your speakers and you can switch it so that it goes outside, inside, or both because you've got speakers both places. All right, over here, 15 inch Jensen television. And looks like you've got two USB ports underneath that for your phone charger, anything else you'd like to plug in there. And then storage underneath, always useful, especially with these nets, you can see what's in there and they are stretchy. Below that, this is gonna be your converter. It's gonna have your breakers and fuses and uh, pops open on the front. And that is just access in case you need to replace a fuse or check your breakers for any reason. Fire extinguisher right by the door. You'll see that in every unit on our lot. That is one of the fire safety codes. Nice thing to have. Let's see if we can move around to the kitchen now. So here in the kitchen at the RPOD 189, it is on your slide out. Um, I love the, the inset on the glass, which is the new style that they're using now. Got some good storage space up above here. And then down below, this is the window that I mentioned earlier, has the regular blind on it. When it comes down, it is a mini blind. 
Uh, you've got a plug up here, so anytime you want to put a coffee pot, you've got good space back here to work with. Uh, I've heard some folks say that maybe they thought this was not very useful, but once you think about a coffee pot, a toaster, uh, maybe a basket with the chips and all the things that you want to grab easily, it's a nice place to have it out of the way but still very accessible. And your plug's up high on the wall so you don't have a whole lot of cords to work with. I love the glass top on the stove here. It is a two burner, but it's a big stove. They make a smaller one and I love the space in this. And next to that, you've got a matching cover on this beautiful one piece countertop here. Pop this out. You've got an undermount aluminum sink. You've got the high spout and then the nice little stylish handles here on the brushed aluminum. All right, let's look at the storage underneath. Now this only goes maybe six, eight inches deep, but that's plenty of space to keep lots of things right there. And then you've got two drawers. Right now it's got some of the exterior things that would be used in setting up the camper. But two drawers, it's always nice. I love drawers because it gives easy access and visual of everything that's in it. So it's much better than a big deep cabinet uh, for me. Next to that, we have the convection microwave that you have uh, come to know and love in the R-Pods. It's an aluminum faced one. Again, you can grill a steak in here, you can bake a cake, or you can use it as a regular microwave. Now it's a 3.6 cubic refrigerator. It is three-way, so it runs on gas, it runs on battery, and it runs on propane. You've got a pull-down freezer. Um, this actually flips up and you've got a three-piece storage tray underneath, which is nice. Flips back in there and has a cover. And then you've got three of these bins here as well in the door. So you've got a nice space there for all your kitchen. And then you've got storage space here that can be pantry or it could be storage for clothes. You've got a hanging rod in the top and then the space all the way down. And once again, my favorite feature, three drawers underneath because I love having drawers. It's just easy access to the space. Now, if we can kind of get a little lower, there is a little more space under here for those things that you don't need right away. And this actually unhooks on the side like that. It's a netting, so you could take the netting off. But while you're traveling, the netting's gonna hold everything in place right there. You just grab the corner of it. Let's see if I can find it. Oops, there's the corner of it and hook it right back. There you go. So come on into the bedroom area and let's take a look. Okay, now walking back into the bedroom area, we've got a nice size queen bed back there and you notice the big windows on both sides and it's got the pull down shades as well so you can black out both sides. The LED light overhead and to the right on the wall, there are hookups there for you to put another television if you'd like to have a television in the back of the 189 model. Now on the panel underneath the bed, we've got a 110 outlet there. So you've got access to plugging in your computer or anything else that you need to do. Uh, if you wanna sit up in bed and, and uh, use your phone or your laptop, Underneath in that area is the furnace outlet. This has a forced air furnace. It's a 20,000 BTU furnace. And if you're not using the furnace, that certainly could be a good storage area. Now in this hallway, we've got the, speaking of the furnace, we've got the control right here. And this is a touch tone control by Dometic that's gonna control the furnace and the air conditioner. So very simple to operate everything. Let's take a quick look into the bathroom because that's an important part of this trailer. All right, well this 189 has the dry bath in it, which means it's a separate toilet and shower. 
and not the one piece compartment that we see in some of the R pods. So as you come in, you'll notice you have a, a toilet area that gives you plenty of room around it. I love over here, they have put the water heater and the water pump out of the way, up on the wall, right above your 110 plug for your bathroom. You've got plenty of counter space extension here to put some of the things that you need on your counter and a big storage space underneath. Can we see that? Now coming up here, you've got a medicine cabinet with a mirror two shelves, and then another little space underneath. Storage in the bathroom is always nice to know. Let's take a peek under here. You do have storage underneath the sink. I'm gonna kind of step back in the shower so you can see that. You've got an oval white sink here with a white matching faucet and the hot and cold handles. Now let me sneak over to the other side. Take a look at the shower. They do a one piece around, so you notice all three sides are one piece. There's no seams in the corners that need to be caulked. Now, a lot of questions we get are about the seam on the bottom, that it is not caulked, but that's by design because you actually have a shower pan coming up behind it and you want to leave it open for any flexing that happens in that shower pan. But one of the newest things that they've added, which I really like, is this shower curtain, it's a one piece, it's on a rail at the top, so it comes over and it has a magnetic catch on this side, and then just pops open and gets out of the way. So you've got that one piece, it's not flapping around in the wind, it can't get away from you underneath. Makes for a, a great way to keep all the water in the shower. Now this six foot six interior feels great. Right up here we've got our uh, air conditioner, Dometic air conditioner. It's got the quick cool right here where you open it up and you've got a big downdraft or you've got controls going out both sides. Such a great trailer, very comfortable. They've tried to add all the amenities in here to make this comfortable and just so easy to use. So let's take a look at the outside and talk about the specs on this trailer. Great new layout, got the sofa in the rear bed in the front. Let's take a look at the exterior features. Now, the R-Pods are made of the welded aluminum frame and they're laminated on the sides and on the roof and the floor. So a very sturdy build, tinted windows, keep, help keeping it cool in the summer. Uh, and let's start right here to the right. There is a pass-through storage that goes all the way through in the back. This is underneath the sofa so it's an accessible when you lift up the sofa to make it into a bed. Um, I always like to point out the fact that this compartment here has a magnetic catch. So with the magnetic catch, you don't have to have those little clips that clip it on. It's very easy to use once you unlock it. Right next to that, this is gonna be the solar panel plug-in. And uh, this is for uh, Go Power. But Zamp also makes one and you just set out a portable solar panel. You plug it in right here and that's gonna get you uh, a charge going to your battery anytime that solar panel is in the sun. So that's really nice for boondocking or even for when you're, can't, you're uh, getting your trailer ready to go and you wanna be sure the battery's charged. Manual jacks on the bottom hand crank very easy to do their stabilizer jacks on all four corners so at the back of this rpod 189 we have the spare tire that's actually in a receiver hitch here so that you could take that out and uh, carry the spare tire someplace else you could also in here put a, a expanded metal tray to carry more gear or a bike rack so it's very versatile in the back Good time to talk about the construction one more time. This is a gel coat fiberglass piece that starts right here at the bottom, runs all the way up over the top and down to the front. So you have no seams going across on this roof. It is a one piece fiberglass roof. It's gel coat fiberglass, just like the rest of the trailer, which is really great for longevity, avoiding any leaks. Uh, you know, there's always seams 
on the sides, but anytime you can avoid a cross seam, that's a good thing. We've got a, a big window in the back, makes it feel open. Of course, it's tinted like the rest of them. And then a spoiler at the top with the LED lighting in it. Really helps with the airflow. Because of the rounded nose, this toes beautifully. Now, LED tail lights as well. And as you remember, there's LEDs on the inside. Very efficient trailer. You have a lighted license plate holder, stabilizer jacks on the bottom, all four corners, very easy to work with. Let's move around to the side. So further down on the side of the trailer, uh, this is gonna be your kitchen slide out with your outside shower with hot and cold water. Underneath here, let's see if we can get a shot. This is where your uh, gray tank is. You can always tell by the gray handle where you would drain that. Of course, all of the R-Pod tanks range between 30 and 36 gallons, so you've got nice sized tanks. This is where your electrical cord will plug in, and then of course a cable and a satellite connection over there. Uh, nice to note that they have 15 inch radial tires with the two-tone wheels. Now in the front, you'll see that is gonna be your black water connection. That's where you drain the black water. Some people will move the hose from the black water down to the gray water tank, and some people will get a Y connection so they all go into one. Uh, it doesn't make any difference how you do that. Moving the hose isn't difficult, but this allows you to have a well-balanced trailer and have large tanks. Uh, this is gonna be a refrigerator vent here, and coming up to the front, you can see the Schwintec uh, style slide out. This is a, a great slide out because it, it balances. You'll see a rail at the bottom, a rail at the top. Glides in very smoothly. It's not dependent on the panel and the rail underneath. So it's a great system. This is gonna be a furnace outlet. This is where you would fill your fresh water tank. And this is if you, uh, your city water fill. So if you just hooked up a hose and you wanted to run straight from that without filling your tank. Of course, this is your water heater outlet. And coming around to the front, you have a, a light on the front, which is very nice when you're hooking up in the evening or unhooking. Battery lays on the back. They do a hard plastic propane cover, which is very nice. You can actually open the top, reach in, turn things on and off, and it stays covered and protected. This is going to be your uh, uh, electric jack. You've got an on-off light here, and then you can retract and extend it here to load up to your truck, safety chains. Now on this far side is where they put the gas hookup. If you wanted to hook up a grill, then this is where you could plug it in and it would run off the propane tank that's on the tongue of your trailer. Coming around to this side, more storage. Again, magnetic catch, so great. But you've got more storage on this side. A lot of outside storage on this trailer. This is gonna be your black tank flush. So you could hook up the hose here to clean out your black tank when you're dumping. Your electrical is up here, so if you're sitting underneath your awning, then you could plug in lights, you could plug in anything extra that you need right there. I love the powder coated uh, fenders with a little safety light on them, a little measure of safety there. You do have outside speakers for your stereo, and at the top you're looking at the awning. Now the awning is an option. There aren't too many options actually on the R-Pods. They outfit them well just with all the standard features, but you can get the awning or you could get one without the awning and add the R-Dome. So. It's got a lot of versatility, very open on the inside, and uh, very similar, this 189 is very similar to the 190 layout. The only thing different is gonna be the 190 has a table instead of the sofa in the back, so you have a dinette. Uh, I will show you a few pictures of that at the end of this video. So, I'm PJ at Princess Craft. If you have any questions at all, something I didn't cover, please give us a call here. We'd be glad to tell you all about the RPOD 189.